What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we have some interesting news about the iOS 11.3. Now I have been mentioned in this tweet quite a lot and I have received quite a lot of emails and DMs on Twitter and so on about this topic. So I decided to make a video to clear the things up for you. There is a uh, new vulnerability apparently in the iOS 11.3 that Apple didn't manage to patch in their final version. And according to mean Spark Zeng, he says in here, quote, good, a zero-day bug survived in the iOS 11.3 update. Now, let me clarify what a zero-day is in the first place. We call zero-day a vulnerability that hasn't been patched, that is still unknown for the general public and for the company that is vulnerable to it. If, for example, I find a vulnerability in the kernel that allows me to jailbreak or that simply allows me to get special privileges and I decide to drop it tomorrow on my Twitter, that is called a zero-day because Apple has zero days left to fix it and you know push the patch to the general public so that's pretty much in a nutshell what a zero day is and he says in here that there is a um, zero day bug that survived in the iOS 11.3 now he mentions the iOS 11.3 update because there is the security content of it which contains everything that has been patched in 11.3 I really like the fact that Apple is actually very transparent with what they patch and what vulnerabilities have been detected and by who and they even assign the CVE number in here and if you take a look there are a couple of them in fact they fixed quite a lot of stuff in the iOS 11.3 security wise because this page is just security related just bugs that may interfere with the security and you can see there are quite a lot of them especially for the WebKit, which is pretty much the core of Safari so yeah be careful what you do when you're using Safari on lower version because apparently there are quite a lot of vulnerabilities to choose from and of course there are additional ones in here if you want to check but the most important for the jailbreaking are the kernel vulnerabilities we discussed about these three kernel vulnerabilities that have been patched in the iOS 11.3 which means that they are available for the 11.2.6 six and lower like 11.2 11.2.1 .2 0.2.2 0 0.2.5 and probably even lower but apparently one of these vulnerabilities has simply slipped out of Apple's surveillance and out of Apple's ability to fix them so it's still available now I'm not entirely sure what this means for the jailbreaking mean spark apparently posted this on uh, Twitter which is a crash report a little bit blurred but it's a crash report saying that it's iOS 11.3 proving the fact that he is indeed running 11.3 and if you take a look in here on the exception subtype it says um, execution bad access sick bus and it's uh, 0x42424242 so there has definitely been some pounding in there but anyways I'm not entirely sure what this would mean for a possible iOS jailbreak for 11.3 since I'm not entirely sure whether he will release it or not whether he will make a write-up or not once it's fixed because for the moment since it's zero day Apple doesn't know about it and it's not aware how to fix it since they do not know where the vulnerability is if MinSpark decides to you know tell Apple there is a vulnerability in there he will probably have to wait if he wants to publish a write-up up until Apple fixes it and after that probably 19 days since there is some sort of limitation. If you remember well the vulnerability for the iOS 11.2.6 that will receive a full write-up that we can use in the jailbreak community coming from Derek will be published in 19 days from now and that's due to the fact that once Apple publishes the patch there is a limitation to the security researcher that he is not able to disclose it publicly until 19 days have passed that is three months so we will not expect the vulnerability described in here for the iOS 11.2.6 and lower to be released anytime soon at least not until 19 days have passed but anyways iOS 11.3 and iOS 11.2.6 are currently signed by Apple and if you're running iOS 11.2.6 or lower I still do not advise you to go to 11.3 even though there is apparently this zero day and this means that the iOS 11.3 is dead definitely pawnable, at least if the vulnerability ever gets to be um, released for the general public, as it might remain secret. But anyways, it's still vulnerable, it's not completely fail-proof. 
the obvious. But I still recommend you to stay on iOS 11.2.6 or lower if you want to jailbreak. iOS 11.2.6 is still signed in here, so if you already made a terrible mistake to update to iOS 11.3, you can still go back to 11.2.6 and stay in there. And I recommend you to do it right now. The way you can do it is pretty much go ahead and here on this page, IPSW.me, select your device, in this case is iPhone, and then for example I'm going to select iPhone 8 Global. And you will need to press 11.2.6 and press download. Then you go in iTunes, press the Alt key on your MacBook uh, keyboard or the Shift key on Windows and select the IPSW you downloaded. Some people may think, well, can't I simply put the device and restore it in iTunes without having to download all the crap? Well, unfortunately you can't because iTunes defaults to the latest version, which is 11.3. So by default, if you do not specify an IPSW, iTunes will try to go to the latest version in here. So that's not good. Uh, you probably know how to restore a device anyways, but I just thought I should mention for those of you who are new in the jailbreak community. Anyways, yes, that's pretty much what's going on. I'm not entirely sure what to say for the moment about this zero day but it looks promising and it looks okay and I'm pretty happy to see that iOS 11.3 even though it killed quite a lot of kernel vulnerabilities and other vulnerabilities of other sorts uh, it pretty much still is vulnerable and especially to this zero day in here that Apple doesn't know about at least for the moment so yeah but I still do not recommend updating to it because that was one of the questions I got in my DMs quite a lot uh, the other day should I update now to 11.3 now that they're is a vulnerability for it? Well, you shouldn't. This vulnerability is not publicly available and it's not known whether MinSpark Zeng will make it public once it's patched. So it's not a safe bet to go to 11.3. Still stay on lower versions. And very important, if you're running 11.2, 11.2.1 or 11.2.2, do not update to 11.2.6. It's not the same thing, even though the same vulnerabilities in here may apply for the 11.2.2 um, and for the 11.2.6. Uh, according to Coolstar, it's easier to port Electra with a kernel exploit to 11.2.2.1 and 11.2.2 than is for 11.2.5 and 11.2.6. Not entirely sure what has changed, but if he says so, it's better to listen to him. He is a good developer and he knows his stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it about this vulnerability. I really hope that uh, Min Spark Zeng will post a write-up once the vulnerability is patched by Apple, but if he doesn't, it's his decision. Now, some Something related to the other day's video, the one with the terminal for iOS without jailbreak, the developer of the application replied to me on Twitter and said, quote, glad you like open term. Version 2.0 will bring scripting and a lot of new commands should be out soon. Well, that was something I didn't expect. So apparently the terminal application that I really, really liked and I presented yesterday in the video, you can check it out in the description down below, will receive some massive update with scripting and great new commands. So definitely wait for it and check Check it out. It's a very good terminal application that I really like. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. I really hope this clarifies things up and I really hope you are able now to make an educated guess on whether you should stay on iOS 11.3, whether you should download on 11.2.6 or you should stay on a lower version if you're already there. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, peace out.